today's video i'm gonna teach you why and how we use protect doubts and why it's really important for you to know them and we are starting right now why we use protected well you might have seen many pages that you try to access a certain page that is protected though it asks you to log in in order to see that page for example your profile page on youtube so let me show you an example that i made we have the home page here on this page right here and then we can log in if we try to access this page as you see it redirects us again to log in but if we click the login this time and then protected we will be able to see this page again if we log out and try again to access our page we are required to log in again so let me show you more in the code i'll have the code in the description you can download it and open it with any editor you like i use visual studio code if we go inside source and go to the app.js here making the routing so we get all the pages here home login logout protected and then we route them to certain paths so for example we want our home component to display when we visit this path on the browser we need our login page to display when we visit this path i'll make a video on that for sure react routing so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss this next video that i'll make we have here a protected router that's a custom component that i made and here again we pass to slash protected we use that protected router component because we want to tell our website our browser that we need the user to log in first in order to see the page i'll show you right now what that component does that's a function so what that does is it gets the component that we pass here so the component is this one here component and the name of the component component and the name of the component and again we pass the rest here what the rest means is whatever else we have here so the path in our case and then we make a render method that that we pass the props and what render does is it renders a certain component we say if it's authenticated so we have specified that right here so what that does is it gets from our user local storage an item that we set from login page and that item tells us true or false so true for the user is authenticated or false that the user is not authenticated we say if it is authenticated return that component otherwise redirect to login page so let's go to our pages we have a simple home page here and then on login we have a button that on click runs this function right here and what this function says is set an item on the local storage local storage is a browser of the user that way even if the user leaves our website and comes back in we know if, if the user is authenticated so we set an item to their local storage we say is authenticated and then we set it to true that way when we try to access it here sorry here it will return us true now on logout when we visit this page we clear the local storage and then we return redirect and re redirect them to slash login i redirect is a component from react router and on the protected page uh, we simply have a title here that says hello this is a protected page and then a button that redirects us to slash logout which will log out the user uh, that's mostly it let me know in the comments if you have any questions let me know if that helped you and what we should do next thank you